Welcome to Wickerson Studios. I have had the most demand when it comes to putting ChatGPT into Grasshopper, and although I was trying to do it with Grasshopper 2.0, I think it'll be much more familiar with people who have played with ChPython and played with ChPython Remote and played with C-sharp scripting. And I'll just show you the simplest way to do this. So what I'm going to do is systematically and structurally go through every single node and see if there's a possible way of bringing um, chat GPT to influence over everything right through to displays in Grasshopper 1.0. I feel capable of doing this and I hope people find it very exciting. What you want to do is you want to set up your AI uh, key, your open AI key, and I'm not going to display mine here. You won't be able to pick it up from here, but you'll have to read a file into this node, which is available in many, many places online, certainly through my chat GPT open source. Um, files and GitHub pages, but Peter Davis was the one who gave me this and I really run with that. Um, very simple script texting. And how, how the first bump you're going to run into is how do you have to write a script to get it to come out and be exactly what you want? Well, write it as simply and logically as you see it. Write a GH Python function for creating random points in Grasshopper for Rhino 3D because I want to fill a point container. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I set up my point container down here. I'm waiting and I'm going to use the ghpython script to use it and I'm going to make my inputs work and my outputs work and what would be the best way to do it. Well this is what is generated. Now the biggest problem with this is you can't grab what's inside here. What you have to do, and this is something that's just very easy, you don't have to use the script parasite with C Sharp and go into Visual Studio Code and cut and paste things, but you will when you have something that looks right with Rhino script syntax and has some random points that are hard coded in, which you later will make parametric, just right click on any panel and say screen stream contents and it will give you a choice of where you want to stream it to. So what I've chosen to do is when I stream the contents of this, stream contents, and I've got it set up, that it will actually go to uh, my chat GPT text file right here. I open that up with Notepad Say, and there is my script that I can access. So that's the only slowing down, but that may not be completely accurate to what you want to do, but it definitely will get you started. And then go down and grab yourself a ghpython node, open it up, um, you can give it a title, whatever you want, and that's all I'm really doing here is I'm just, it's, it's unrecognizable as a Python node because I've just right clicked, called it point because I want it to substitute a point container and I've just rolled it through these kind of icons here till it comes up and, and writes that. And then I've cut and pasted the script in here. And after cutting and pasting the script in here, it's nice that it runs off of a function. I'll have to call the function, and then if I want it to be parametric, I'm going to change what's down here to the inputs that I had. And if it's going to look for floats, you will have to set a type int to float. Um, you will have to set your integers to type int to integers. And you can leave the access as single to start, but that's exactly what's happening. This is running perfectly, and it's get outputting my points. And I would just shrink this back down over here to this side and there it is. Um, it's outputting the points and all I've done is put a sphere on it for visualization. And that's it. I have a random point script that was from ChatGPT that will start to write scripts and do things in Grasshopper for me in a wonderful way that I don't have to really get complicated in Visual Studio Code. I don't have to get stuck in try to script. And let's see where we could go with that. Well, very simply, the next container are vectors. And if you know anything about vectors in Grasshopper, you have to have a vector display on them and you want a vector uh, from a point. So I could have had them come from these points, which would have been fun to have the vectors emit from all of these points. And you would have had this kind of crazy thing happens. But I think just to pull it all from zero would be fine. And I've chosen the exact same thing. I've written exactly the same script. Write a ghpython function for creating random vectors instead of random points in Grasshopper for Rhino 3D. Because if it works, why change it? It gives me the Rhino import. Um, uh, Rhino script syntax is RS and it gives me a function that I can call and so I will double click on here and I will simply uh, well the first things first you're going to want to go here you're going to want to stream your contents and then once again pick up your chat GPT in your notebook it's a little bit of a slowdown but you can think about your script and you can kind of look at it and see if you need to edit it in Visual Studio under GitHub Copilot or you want to look again at um, uh, let's say chat GPT and have it restructure itself but once you think you nearly have it 
come here and cut and paste it into the ghpython node. Uh, call that function, make sure you output it, and wherever there's an opportunity to add an XYZ, just make sure you set those to doubles or floats, well floats if you're using G GH Python, and integers for any number count, and those are the nums that's going to go in, and I can generate those vectors again. It runs perfectly. I can jump back into Rhino uh, environment, and that's it. Um, and I'm able to have my vectors emitted and have them in a range. I can put a seed on here if I wanted to, playing with randomness, but you could ask ChatGPT to, to write that code. But to get you started scripting, why not use ChatGPT? Let's go on again, and what's the next container? The next container is a circle. So this is where I ran into a little problem. So I went back in and I said, write a ghpython function for creating random circles in RhinoScript syntax in Grasshopper for Rhino 3D. And I think I added in with RhinoScript syntax because I was having trouble with it because probably it was trying to use it for Rhino Common. It was trying to use uh, uh, other, it wasn't trying to use that. It was just importing random and trying to make it work. But what happened was what it wrote is you'll notice it didn't make a list of circles and it didn't add to that list. So when I input it in here, well, first of all, you have to go here and you have to stream your contents and then you go back and you pick up your contents, open it in Notepad or any editor you have, but it'll work fine in Notepad. Um, bring it out again. Sorry, this kind of like slams around and goes big and small every time. Um, here we go. Uh, then you have your script you can input, and you'll see that I had to add, similar to looking back to vectors, if you, you have to know a bit about, obviously, coding to get through this, but it's nothing to add a list of circles and use the same technique with the vectors to the circles, append those with adding circles, and then letting A be the output of calling the function to 10 circles. And you could definitely hard code this into the number of circles of what you want instead of 10 and you could add another uh, type here if you wanted to to have a different number of circles within it so you can just customize these scripts as you go so that's it I'm gonna leave no stone left unturned the next object is going to be circular arcs I will take circular arcs I will grab myself a GH Python node and I will ask it to go in here and randomly assuming that I have it twice I will go in here close this function and ask this to generate random arcs and I think that's what it's called but maybe I just want to double check that I'll leave it takes a little bit for ChatGPT to run but if I take a look at my params tab those are called circular arcs so I probably will say random circular arcs with grasshopper rhino script syntax and it is going to pull out a script in a few seconds which is a little slower than going into chat gpt and writing somewhere else because you're calling it and you're going to see if that works and you'll see you're starting to get a little bit of a mess it's starting to return too much that it can't just cut and paste it it's numbering these outcomes it's starting to get a little funky and this happens very quickly i also have found grafting and not grafting these answers has been interesting uh, in case I'm asking too many things, I like to graft it so it separates it. But look at that. It seems to work without the graft. I've got something that's calling a function. Let's see if it ends up working. And if it does, I can take that. I can send that to stream contents. And then it's back over to that text file. I'll copy it. I'll put it in here and start working on scripting. So what a wonderful way to wrap your head around scripting. Not complicate things too much build your geometries from circles, arcs, and I'll fly through every point container and try and fill these with a type of chat GPT for Rhino script syntax or Rhino common for that matter. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to go through these until I actually get into some more interesting components from containers and see where it is possible to introduce chat GPT into this uh, into this type of thing and if you know me I'll probably go over it with a fine-tooth comb until I lose interest but this seems to have the most interest so I'm looking for patrons to support it and show me that they want more I don't ask much for sponsorship but that dollar a month usually lets me know if I'm on track doing the right things that most people want me to do so that's it we will take our OBS we will stop recording stop streaming and stop recording thank you